Good evening, this is Eleven Colors, and this is a t-shirt. And this, of course, is a box! You know when you're buying, you know you're buying too much stuff when you sort of begin to forget what's in which box, when you ordered it, what you bought. So let's see what's in this one. I think I know what's in this one. But, the box is shaped wrong. It's flat and rectangular. What I bought is not flat and rectangular. It's more sort of round with legs. So maybe they got this taped to a piece of cardboard inside the box. Which I'm now opening with a pair of scissors in a dangerous way. Huh. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it's uh, vacuum packed sealed to a piece of cardboard. It's a sore ball light. Now the idea behind one of these things, and the idea behind me buying a bunch of these things, is to store up solar energy in a small battery during the day, and give it off as light during the night. And I'm going to try a whole bunch of these. I got one for about 500 yen that I bought at a home center floor, or hardware hardware store type. Oh yes, these legs are fixed. This is a cute little alien spacecraft ball thing with flexible legs. And there's a battery in here and a manual. Anyways, yeah, I got a little one that I bought at a department store, a miniature department store, on the hardware store type. I want to say home center, but that doesn't mean anything in English, does it? Anyway, it's the one near, uh, I think it's Seiyu, near Se Sangenjaya. And I can't open this freaking Ziploc bag. And there's a battery in here. Now, what I'm, okay, this nickel, ca it's nickel cadmium or cadmium or however it's pronounced. It's a rechargeable battery. You know, the other day I was in a Boombogia. What's a Boombogia in English? It's a stationery store where they were selling these uh, so called solar, po solar powered lamps. And I was reading the warnings and cautions on the side of one of them and it said do not use rechargeable batteries which didn't make sense it was a lantern with a solar panel on top and instructions telling you not to use rechargeable batteries so made me wonder what the point is so, oh that's very bright all from that little uh... LED oh that's interesting I turned it up and I pointed at the ceiling light and the light on the bottom shuts off and I turned it upside down and the light shuts on again all because of light so turn it this way oh yeah towards the ceiling that's supposed to turn on it oh wait it's off now because it thinks it's daylight and I put my hand over it and it lights up again so the idea is to get enough of these little guys that I can light my apartment without mains electricity without electricity from Tepco because the real root of all the problems we're having right now with nuclear fallout and beef, radioactive beef and radioactive vegetables, the real problem is our own greed. We want electricity cheap. We want to be able to plug into a wall and get it unlimited, get it right away in unlimited amounts. And that's what's causing our problems. Not so much TEPCO. TEPCO is more a symptom. Tepco's behavior is more of a symptom of our own greed. That's my own little philosophical bit there. If we didn't want electricity, or if we didn't use electricity the way we use it, then uh, Tepco wouldn't be a problem. Fukushima wouldn't be a problem. I'm enjoying this. So anyways, this is one of these guys, and this thing cost about 1500 yen. So I'm thinking if I get enough of these around the apartment, then and I put them near the window, I put them near the window so they can charge during the day, then I won't need to use the ceiling light at night. And I don't expect to be able to charge everything from solar power at once. That's another problem with uh, <laughs> with our power, mental pe yeah, power mentality, is that we want lots of power all at once. We want a big fat nuclear power plant instead of powering little things a little step at a time with solar panels. So, replacing nuclear power won't happen right away. It'll happen step by step. And it won't happen if we start with, it won't happen unless we start with small steps like little solar powered lights like this guy. 
So, so far so good. Maybe I'll buy a whole farm full of these. This has been 11 Colors, and thank you for watching.